Us on set is Udun al Kanani, an independent researcher on identity politics in Iraq and the Middle East. So thank you very much for joining us. So the protesters who are not happy about Alawi, do they have a point? Of course they have a point. They were very clear since the beginning of the protest that they don't want anyone from the same ethnic sectarian quota, from the very same political class. And Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi was a minister. He was an MP for the past few years. He's a veteran of that very same ethnic sectarian quota regime that they have been protesting against since October. So they are just going around in circles. The protest movement might have seen a symbolic achievement when they got rid of Adel Abdel Mahdi and Barham Saleh by having that official or non-official, whatever you want to call it, uh, resignation, although they're still in power mm -hmm. until yesterday for Adil Abdul Mahdi. However, they just, it was, it was as if they never even replaced Adil Abdul Mahdi. It's from the very same political class. But the focus here shouldn't be on Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi. The focus should be on the political negotiations that allowed for Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi okay, to be so? put in power. That is the new power vacuum that happened after the assassination of Qasem Soleimani and Al Muhandis. And that is a power vacuum that Muqtada Sadr took an advantage from. Ir Iran is, was put in a position where they needed someone influential on Ira on, in the Iraqi domestic affairs, mm -hmm. an influential uh, figure, just like Muqtada Sadr. It was an opportunity for Muqtada Sadr, on the other hand, to take an advantage of that power vacuum because he realized he did not have that popularity he was very used to in that protest movement. The protest movement included him in their discourse when they were referring to anti-Iran, anti anti-regime, anti-government. Muqtada Sadr is one of those political figures whom have had a political party that have been involved and participated in every single post-2003 Iraqi government. So it is the negotiations of Muqtada Sadr in Iran that put Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi, not the protests. Should the U.S. have anticipated this vacuum? Did they? Did, did they disregard it? Did they underestimate it? They definitely underestimated it. They killed Qasem Soleimani and left that power vacuum to be controlled by Iran. They allowed Iran to take uh, revenge on Qasem Soleimani's killing in Iraqi domestic affairs on the Iraqi streets. Today, Muqtada, yesterday, Muqtada Sadr sent his own militia, which is Saray al Salam, to take over Tahrir Square and kick out the protesters who have, whom have been peacefully camping and protesting in Tahrir Square to prove to the media or to the international media that the protesters today are, are, are approving Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi. But if you look into some of the videos by some of the Iraqi journalists from some of the Iraqi media platforms, they were trying to cover from the protesters themselves, from witnesses amongst the protesters themselves, telling them about how the, the Sadrists or the, the Saray Salam militia kicking them out from the Turkish building. And, and they, they refused for it to be covered. Okay, well, now there's 30 days to make a cabinet. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. Um, Zidu Nakamani, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Pleasure.